if you've heard God say something, the timing of it is always the issue when it comes to God promising something or God directing us in some way. There's usually a preparation for that taking place. And then we go through a process of the preparation. And in that process, it's a, it's a matter of pondering or cherishing what he said in your heart. Remember when uh, Gabriel, the angel, talked to Mary about being the mother of Jesus, she pondered or treasured those things in her heart. So we don't have to be passive, but we can do what we do in a reflective, meditative way in rest. So we're resting in what it will be like for that to be fulfilled, even before it has been. So, you know, um, Mark where 11, where it talks about pray, believe you've receiving and you will receive it. That is what it's like to ponder what God says in your heart. You're incubating it effectively. So you are the incubator that's the conditions that are bringing about that pregnancy, if you like, for that word to come into reality. Now, you can't rush pregnancy. You don't want to be premature. You want to be ready. And therefore, nurturing yourself as you would in pregnancy, eating the right food, making sure you're getting enough sleep, all those things is preparation. So when it comes to seeing, like for your situation, a stream of income coming, God will show you how to do that when you're ready to do it. He's preparing you to do it. He's preparing you for it. And there may be things that other people or other situations or other things aren't in place yet. So you're trusting in what he's saying, nurturing it, incubating it, growing it inside you. So it's ready to manifest by staying in a place of rest. But you don't have to be passive. The meditation process is about picturing and engaging it in your heart so that you're living in the reality of it, even before it's actually physically manifested. And I think that's the key. Um, how you do that? Well, there's nothing wrong in, in calling things that be not as if they are. But you're doing that with your attitude rather than sort of making it happen. You're realizing the fulfillment of the promise. So you can be, and I do this, but rather than declaring that this is going to take place, I am thankful and show an attitude of thanksgiving and gratitude to the reality of it taking place. So therefore, I am creating an atmosphere of thanksgiving, therefore joy around it taking place. And that makes me feel joyful and living in the future effectively. So I'm living in the future in the present because of my attitude towards it and how I approach it. Now, if there becomes opposition, you sense things are opposing or things are stopping or hindering, then that's another matter. And you find out what it is and whether if it's something in me, then I then I ask God to deal with it in me. If there are other things, then I would also look at that process. But generally, I'm staying in a place of rest and I'm approaching the reality of what it is from that place of rest. Um, and I'm positive. I have a positive attitude towards it. I have a positive intention to it. Everything in me and my whole way of thinking is actually living in the reality of it. So that, that can begin to manifest and take place. Um, and be open to whatever God does in the preparation that you may need in your own life to help you come into that place where you're resting at peace, in joy and love, and trusting God for God's pr protection, provision, and blessing within it all, so that you can come into the fulfillment of that when the timing is right. And that timing will be God's timing, not ours. We can't force that timing, because if you're starting to force it, then you're probably coming out of anxiety or fear or worry. You just want to be in a place of rest and trust uh, and do whatever the Father shows you to do as you're going. And the closer you are in relationship to the Father and the Father's heart, the easier it is to be able to feel and sense the Father's desire to bless you and to outwork things for you, that he's a good God and he wants to bless you and bring that goodness.
to bear. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.